Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to create a calculator. So first, we want to link our CSS and JavaScript, and later we want to create our calculator screen. So let's create that div and give it a class name screen. Okay, we created that. Now we want to create our button. So div button our first button is clear button we are going to clear our screen when we press the button so class name bt and give a on click function clear so click clear or oh, is our function name okay this is our first button now create our second button and other buttons okay i'm gonna copy this oh, in second button we don't need that because we don't work with that it's simply a button okay and our third button is remove the la first thing in our screen so let's click on click function remove this is our back button so give this icon okay and the fourth button is our divide button so change to display we want to di display the button display these icons in our screen and give this and change text content to divide and our first four buttons we created now let's create our second four buttons and one two three four yeah okay now this this is seven and changing the seven and this is eight and change to eight and nine now the content is nine and this is our multiplication icon yeah change to multiplication yeah now let's create our next four buttons i'm gonna copy paste this okay eight four five and six and this will be minus minus button or subtract button so let's create our next four buttons okay this will be one and two three and our addition change this content to addition so let's create our last four buttons the first again is divide and our second one is zero And a point, a decimal point, and our equal to. So we want to change this function to result because we don't want to display our equal to. We want the result, okay? Result. Okay. Now we finish our HTML. Now let's go to CSS and style our buttons and screen. So screen background color is black and width to 10 px and height 70 px. Okay, this is our screen and color 
is white and font size 40 px and text again is right it's going to be our text in this right side okay now let's take our buttons dot bd okay and key width 50 px yeah height 50 px yeah now we created our calculated button and screen now we want to make this work so let's go to javascript and create a variable called screen and bring the screen from html to this variable okay let screen is document dot query selector and our class name screen okay so we want to display our operators and numbers in our text screen okay so let's go to function display uh, an argument num okay this display function is this on click function and the argument num is this okay and now we want to make our screen dot text content plus is equal to none okay now let's check is working or not yeah now it's working oh nine plus nine seven okay now we want to Oper want to work our operations in our number so let's calculate our numbers so let's create function result okay this result is this result okay and now screen dot text content is equal to wall and screen dot text content okay now let's check is working or not 5 plus 5 is equal to 10 yeah it's working and 10 minus 10 is 0 yeah it's working now we want to make work our clear button and our back button so let's create that function remove yeah this is our remove button this we call this function okay remove and screen don't text content is equal to screen dot text content dot slice zero and negative one so now let's check is working or not five 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 yeah it's working and now we are going to make our clear button work so let's create that function clear all this is our on name on click function clear all okay and now screen dot text content is equal to nothing empty now so let's check how working AD plus AD is equal to 160 yeah it's working yeah working so this is today's video hope we can see next video so please subscribe and put a like 